Hello everyone, Rachel here. In this video, I am going to be doing a demo of a custom object that I created to help me track my running workouts and connect them to race goals, training periods, a need for rest, etc. So first I will walk through a demo of what some of the end result features look like and then I will go through the process that I use to create, including the high level planning, starting with the end in mind, what information that I will need to be inputting into the objects, the object relationships, fields, API names, etc. And then I'll do a quick run through of the build. In a future video, I will also go through automations that I will eventually be creating. But in this video, it's just a really quick breakdown of what I did to create the, the, um, the custom object. All right, so first things first is I need to break down what it is that I actually want this object to do. So I wrote out a couple of things that helped me to really flesh out those requirements and think about the end user experience, which in this case is what do I want to do? What do I want this object to be able to do? and how do I want it to do it, right? So I wanna be able to track individual workouts so I can see my progress. I want weekly digest so I can plan my week. I also want those workouts to sync with Google Calendar and then to be able to move them around if necessary. I wanna be able to upload a data set of past workouts so I can include historical data as well as you know being able to input those manual ones. I wanna be able to see training blocks, which I have in about uh, 14 day periods so that I know if I am on track for the races for example if I'm doing a road marathon I'm going to be need to, I'm going to need to train differently than if I'm doing a really you know technical terrain or if I'm training for a 5k then I'm going to be needing to do a lot more speed work instead of you know trail running things like that that I will take to input the workout information. So there are two ways. As you'll see, there is the individual ones and then there is the historical data. So the first one is that I wanna be able to input my workouts manually from my phone. Going to the activity app, uh, activity tab, and then logging the workout, putting in the necessary information. This could be for running and eventually I would like to expand this into other sports, but for now I'm just going to start with the running workouts. And then I also want to be able to upload from a Garmin file. That's where all of my historical data is stored. And then also, you know, if I miss a couple of workouts or if I want to input in a hike or something like that, it could be really nice to be able to just download that from Garmin and, and load it in. And then what are the steps for planning goals and targets? This is in relation to races and goals that I have as well as target types of workouts. And what that means is something that I do outside of Salesforce. I decide on my race calendar, one of the dates, what kind of race is it? For example, I have one in September that is just right up a mountain. So that's going to be a lot of hills. It's gonna be a lot of power hiking and some VO2 max hill strides, etc. So what is the plan? And then breaking that down into training periods so that I can you know, vary my training, not get injured, allow for sufficient rest and whatnot. And I, I wanna be able to keep track of all of those things so that when I look into a training period, I can be able to you know, see how many sorts of runs I need per week and you know, the distance train types so that I can you know, plan out my week and decide where I'm gonna run that week. This is all gonna be done in a spreadsheet. So the custom object for races and training periods is going to need to take into account that I will be uploading this so that the fields will map properly. And then, you know, once I do that, obviously check that all fields are mapping correctly and that the page layout is configured. I should only need to do this once and I should also only need to, you know, configure the page layout um, for the run once because the Garmin file has a lot of information that I don't really need to see all of the time. It can be nice to know and, you know, maybe put in a report, but I don't want to be seeing 500 fields on my page layout that I'm not actually going to be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is the overall purpose of this object. And now let's go into the object model and what that's actually going to look like, field names, API names, etc. cetera. 